Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So uh, in this one, we're going to do our FCON Fantasy Game Week 3 team selection video. And as per usual, I'm going to talk about uh, how I did for Game Week 2 first before we move on to Game Week 3. So um, as you can see on the screen, this is my team. And over the course of two game weeks, my total points is 175. And that puts me at an overall rank of 346 out of the 75k people that are actually playing uh, FCON Fantasy. So uh, pretty happy about that, um, but my rank did drop from about 200 plus last week to uh, 346 this week. So I'm hoping that the changes that I'm making can um, yeah, help me to improve my, my rank. But uh, looking at the team so far, um, quite disappointed about the performance from Ikea Nacho, uh, you know, and honestly not getting the clean sheet uh, for Nigeria also kind of um, put a dent in my points for the keepers. So, uh, but apart from that, I think everyone else performed decently well. Um, and especially, uh, Kazri, who got 17 points. Um, and thankfully as well, my captain Salah also, uh, managed to score a goal in a 1-0 win for Egypt. So, um, overall, I think, uh, could have been better if I had players like, uh, you know, uh, Abu Bakr for Cameroon, who, who got a massive haul in game week two. Uh, I could have had a, a, a better score, but I think on the whole, my, my team did pretty well. And looking uh, into the next game week, I think I'm pretty set as well. And I'm going to make uh, two transfers uh, out of the out of the two free transfers that we have. I'm going to make two transfers, and yeah, hopefully they can um, prepare my team well for the next game week. So this is how I'm lining up for game week three, and I've made two changes. So the first one is to swap Ikea Nacho out for Chupo Moting. And the next one is to swap uh, Belayli out for Sadio Mane. So I've made these two changes to target the Game Week 3 fixtures. And also, we need to be aware that they, there will be rotations in this Game Week for the teams that are already qualified. So I bring in Mane because Senegal has to win this one. They, they, they really uh, will go for this one. And Mane, you know, probably as one of the talisman will want to get involved as much and contribute as much as he can. So that's why he's he's coming in into my team. And also, uh, I've taken uh, Belayli out for Mane. And that's also because Belayli has a tough fixture against Ivory Coast as well. So um, yeah, so to target the easier Senegal fixture, I'm going to bring in Mane. And next, I'm bringing in Chupo Moting, who has an easy uh, fixture against uh, Cape Verde. And... I think something to note as well is that Cameroon are most likely already through, so they may give uh, Abu Bakr a rest. And anyways, whether Abu Bakr plays or not, uh, Chupo Moting has been getting some decent minutes uh, over the past two game weeks. So I think uh, starting him against uh, Capri Verde, he may very well get some returns for us as well. So apart from the transfers that I've made, I think everyone else in my team has pretty decent fixtures. And I'll be expecting you know key players who really need to perform this game week to to give some uh, returns. So people like Mane, Salah, and also uh, Kazui, because Tunisia also do have to win uh, this uh, next game that they're playing. So yeah, um, overall, I think uh, the, the, the defense also looks pretty good. So I think I'm quite set for game week three. And yeah, uh, hoping that this game week can actually uh, bring my rank uh, up. And yeah, let's see how, how high we can go up in this uh, FCON Fantasy game. Alright, so that's it for this video guys, I hope you like it and uh, if you do, do drop this video a like and also hit the subscribe button to support the channel and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye bye.